Hi there and welcome to this IB biology video, revision video with Mr. Phillips. And today we're looking at prokaryotic cells and this is for IB course from 2023 onwards. And also just to point out, this isn't enough detail, you need to do your own independent revision. So just to point out, you should be able to name all these different parts of an animal cell. Um, obviously animal cell being one of three eukaryotic cells, animals, plants, and fungal cells. Um, so I'd suggest you pause the video here, make sure you can identify the names of these different cells, and then I'll give the answers in a second. So let's have a look at the answers. These are the answers. You've got rough endoplasmic reticulum there. So you've got the ribosomes attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Remember the free ribosomes make housekeeping cells from the previous video. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum makes proteins that can be released out into the cell. So I should have said they make uh, housekeeping proteins for the cell. The mitochondria, which does aerobic respiration. Um, and uh, remember the first stage of respiration actually happens in the cytoplasm, but the link reaction, Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation happen in mitochondria. Free ribosomes that make housekeeping proteins, as I've mentioned and messed up slightly before. The nucleolus, which involves making ribosomes. The nucleus itself, which is surrounded by the nuclear um, envelope with holes in it to allow messenger RNA to leave, but contains the DNA within the cell, separating it from the rest of the cell. The Golgi apparatus, um, which packages and modifies both proteins and lipids and adds um, carbohydrates to proteins to make glycoproteins or glycolipids. Centrioles, which are involved in the making of spindles. Um, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is one everyone seems to forget for some reason, making lipids. Lysosomes, which contain hydrolytic enzymes um, used in phagocytosis and digesting unwanted, unneeded parts of the cell. Obviously in real life, it looks more like this, and that shows you why we struggle to understand exactly the roles of all these different parts. You can see here we've got some clear figs there. We've got the mitochondria there at the top. This whole thing is the nuclear envelope. So you might have thought that's the whole cell, but it really isn't. Again, you've got the nucleolus in the middle, the bits that stain are the bits we can see, because stain provides contrast. Then we've got chromatin there, which is, as you should know, where the... Um, a key uh, chemical involved in nuclear, uh, nuclear division. Uh, types of cells, and so you should know there are two basic types of cells, um, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are bacteria and cyanobacteria um, and belong to their own kingdom. Eukaryotic cells um, include protista, um, fungus, uh, animal and plant cells. So don't forget the protista or protoctista, so fully known because I forgot to mention that even myself earlier. And you need to know the difference between their structures. So the roles of each organelle is the same. So if we look at this uh, relatively quickly. We have the um, plasmid here. The plasmid's role is different. Plasmids only occur in um, some bacteria cells, not all. So be very careful with that. Never say they occur in all. They create antibiotic resistance. Ribosomes, smaller 70S ribosomes here, but they still produce proteins for the cell. Um, cytoplasm obviously is where all the chemical reactions occur. Cell wall made out of peptide or glycan, not made out of cellulose, um, again gives structure and strength. Cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell. And chromosomes, obviously the hereditary material, free floating naked DNA. They are not containing histone proteins and they don't are not in the nucleus. They're free floating in the cytoplasm. And flagella obviously help movement of the bacteria cell. So they do not contain membrane bound organelles. So if we have a look at what they don't contain on here, um, they do not contain endoplasmic reticulum. They only contain ribosomes. They do not contain mitochondria. They do not contain a nucleus. They do not contain Golgi apparatus. Um, and they do not, again, nucleus. They also, the cell wall, I suppose, is different. Okay, they do not contain vacuoles or chloroplasts, which you can't find on here. Sorry, there we go. So what is the difference? Well, prokaryotic means before nucleus, and it refers to primitive cells that do not have a true nucleus, whereas eukaryotic um, are cells that have a true nucleus and membrane-bounded organelles, such as mitochondria. Um, 
and there's some examples of different prokaryotic cells for you. Um, as you can see, they're very simplistic um, and don't forget they can be unicellular, so they, can ex they exist generally on their own. So what are the key things you need to be able to say about them? Well, you need to be able to talk about the fact that prokaryotic cells have a cell membrane, um, like all cells do, so they must have a cell membrane. They do have a cell wall, but it's made out of either peptide or glycan, which is what I prefer, or murine. They have no true nucleus. They don't have membrane-bound organelles. They do have a cytoplasm um, and bacteria li linked to a kingdom, Monera. We won't worry about that too much. Cell membranes are obviously found in eukaryotic cells, but we, eukaryotic cells have a cellulose cell wall. Not all of them, though. Don't forget, animal cells don't. They have a true nucleus, which is bound in a nuclear envelope. They have membrane-bound organelles, such as mitochondria and chloroplasts. They have a cytoplasm, and the kingdoms um, that they have are animal, plant, protista, and fungus. So four of the five kingdoms, with just bacteria being the one for prokaryotic cells. In terms of other differences, prokaryotic cells are, as you can see here, a lot smaller than eukaryotic cells. Their DNA is circular DNA, whereas eukaryotic cells have linear DNA if you develop the structure of a chromosome, it's in a straight line. They don't have a nucleus, the DNA is free within the cytoplasm. The DNA is naked, now that means it is not associated with histone proteins. Okay, so make sure you're using that term correctly. They have ribosomes that are smaller, they have no endoplasmic reticulum, and they have fewer organelles. 